Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, I have three dolls today that I'm going to be opening. I do not know who's who, so I'm gonna be separating these videos, of course, and it'll help me out because I have longer videos to post for a while. Um, I've ordered a few dolls because of sales and having some extra money for my job, so I'm really excited to open these dolls and show you what I got. So, I'm gonna start with the first box on top. Do not know who it is again, don't know. Um, but we're gonna open it. I'm excited. So let me fix the camera and I'll let you in on the action. So I have it covered because, of course, don't want anybody to know where I live. Because safety. So this is my first time like ordering a ball from here for a long time. Okay. So up here. See what I got. I already see who it is and I'm excited. So here is the magazine. I keep trying to get a magazine and it won't send and I've been really annoyed so I'm finally happy to finally have this. And if you can't see, I got Joss. So I've been really wanting her for a while now. And like when I was going to American Girl for my birthday, it was like all planned out and I was trying to decide who I wanted. I went to the store and decided who, and I ended up choosing her, and I got one of her outfits in her second book, but then I couldn't get her right away, so I was really bummed out. But then they recently started their sale for the dolls. They did a two-day sale for $98, and I could not pass it up, plus I've really been wanting her. So here is Joss's book, and I decided to finally have it because I'm like very asinine about having both books in a series and I only had the second one for a while. It made me kind of go stir crazy. But here's her book, Joss. And then in here is a little pamphlet just to tell you a little about her hearing aid. If you don't know, um, Joss is a girl with ear that has um, hearing problems and is deaf. But she comes with a little hearing aid set and cleaner. And then her underwear are packaged and left in here because she has a bathing suit on under her outfit. So let me get this put back in. And then let me just cut the bands and I can get her out. Joss. Oh, she's so cute. I'm so excited to have her in my collection. So again, I've been wanting her for a minute now and she is just so pretty to me. I love her new face mold. She looks absolutely perfect. So I'm actually going to put one of her hearing aids in just to see how they work. I've never had a doll with hearing aids before and I think it's so cool that she is a doll that does come with one. So here she is with her hearing aid in her ear. Looks so cute. I love that she has a hearing aid. But here she is. And then let's do what everybody loves to do. I'm gonna take her hearing aid off. So here she is. She is her beautiful hair. I love her hair. I love how, I honestly like how thin it is. It feels thin, not crazy thin, but thin. So perfect for styling and perfect for brushing. Yeah, I'm so happy to add her to my collection. So again, um, she has a swimming suit under here. So when you pull that down underneath is a swimsuit. I really don't want to take the whole outfit off. And people have done opening videos of Joss before. So if you'd like to see it, I'm sure you can find one. I know um, AT Overseas Fan does an awesome job reviewing dolls and showing all their outfits. So highly would recommend her. But um, she comes with these sandals these pants and this jacket and again, this swimsuit underneath and then her hearing aid, which let's put that back on. And I appreciate how she comes with two. 
so like in a normal case to where you want to like wear and want to clean and then also just if you lose one um there she is um again don't know if i'm gonna be putting these together or if i'm gonna just separate them i just realized my last video is actually kind of short so either i'll put them together or i will separate um maybe just a unboxing of dolls extravaganza but I'm gonna be opening my next doll. I think I know who she is because the other doll, it has a bigger box. Um, so this one, I think I already know who she is on like my last video with Joss. I did not know which one I was opening. But let's get started. The box Gotta be careful if they're going to rip into the other box. So this is actually a different magazine. That's awesome. I'm happy that they changed it because that would have been a bummer if it was the same exact one on the floor. The next doll I got was Maritza. She's from the new World by Us collection. So I've actually, when they came out, she literally was my first like go-to. I knew I wanted her doll. Um, I really love Selena and I don't know if you guys know who she is. I'm talking about Selena, Selena, Selena Quintanilla Perez. Um, I love her, and this doll just reminded me of her so much, um, except she didn't have the bangs. So I do want to get a Selena customized doll. That would be fun. But um, I just love Mar Maritza. If I can speak, um, my friend helped me out figure out how to say her name. Uh, she's Hispanic. So thanks, Angelica. So let's get to opening her. So again, Maritza is part of the new World by Us series, which is supposed to be um, the new diverse line is created to help teach girls about different um, ethnicities, races, and backgrounds. And I love this line, like I love it. So I'm super excited that they came out with it. Um, this is her book and I'm so excited to read it. This is Maritza, Lead With Your Heart. It's by Angelia. Cervantes. I hope I said that right. Really sorry if I didn't. It looks like a very cute book and I'm excited to read it. Okay. And then on to everyone's favorite part again, opening the doll. So I brought my scissors with me because it is not easy to open these dolls anymore. Um, while I do this, let's be, I'm going to be real with you guys. I miss the old packaging. It was super simple, just rubber bands pull out. I don't understand why they have to have the hands um, packaged in there. Just me, but here she uh, Of course, wow, this happens to me. The hair type is stuck. Oh, she's so cute. So here's Lisa. Oh, she's so cute. She is the second doll to have the new Joss face mold, so only Joss and her have the face mold. I find her very cute. I love her outfit. I love the sportiness to it. Let's get her head and off. So one thing I do find interesting with um, the Joss face mold is they did not, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love her hair. This is her hair. Before I go on another tangent. But she has beautiful long hair. And some people are saying it's about the length of Kanani's. I do not have Kanani, but I have seen Kanani. I would say the same deal. Um, it probably is the length of Kanani. So she's so pretty. I love her so much. Um, so something I found interesting is with the Maritza doll, uh, her ear has the same like little hole in the side to fit the hearing aid. So this is my second Joss hearing aid. It looks like somebody else said it. It can like just fit. Like it's a very snug fit because of the hair. But I found that interesting that they um, didn't change the ear for her. Uh, it just looks like that they really did just copy the face mold. They probably just used the same mold and made the doll. Don't have a problem with that whatsoever. So one thing a lot of people are iffy on are the eyelashes um, from straight on some people are like saying it's too much I don't know how I feel 
Um, looking into the camera, I think it's very cute and I love it, but looking at her, it's a little off for me. So I've seen some people take them off. I don't, I'm one that loves the true value of the doll. Like I love keeping them in the condition that they come in. So it's really hard because part of me wants to take them off. Another one doesn't. So I'm probably not gonna because that's just me. I really can't bring myself to do something like that. But if you want to take them off, a lot of people just take acetone and um, just clean them off because it's really easy. But brush your hair. Um, the thing I use for my dolls is a mix of downy softener and water. Um, that's how I keep the frizz down on my dolls. I would recommend using water as much as possible. When you think you see some frizz showing, I definitely would recommend using some down and water mixture. Really, it's just a half and half mix. But I love, I love her. Definitely happy that I'm adding Maritza to my collection. So yeah, here she is. This is the last doll for today for me, but I do have one more coming, so there will be one more video. But this doll is a doll I've been wanting to for so long. Like, so long. Um, I love this doll because she has like the same hair color as me, she gives a big hint of who it is. She's historical, it's one of my favorite time eras, so I'm super excited. I did get an outfit with her, so I knew it was her because she has a bigger box. Um, and we just need to get ready to open it because I'm just too excited to wait. Um, I've been wanting this doll and contemplating getting her for so long and I'm so happy that I finally just bit the bullet and got the dolls that I've really wanted because then I don't have to worry about it later or um, expect somebody else to do it out of the kindness of their heart because these dolls are expensive and I would never make anyone waste their money for me on them. But, mm, let's get this started. Um, right here, ooh, I'm so excited. So I've been wanting, this is the main reason I also wanted this doll. Um, I love this dress, and if I'm correct, my grandma um, also loved this dress. When I was into American Girl, she would always like love going and looking at the stuff with me. But I got Mary Ellen, so this is Mary Ellen's dress. Um, I will open it in a second because I'm just like you all and I just want to get to the point. So I got her out, here she is. I'm gonna fix the camera and I'll show you guys the opening her hair. She is, she comes with her book, Mary Ellen, the one and only. And I'm so excited to read this because I've yet to read her book, but I've seen her short um, story movie on Amazon. So here she is in the box. Oops. Here is Mary Ellen. I'm gonna take her hair net out. I honestly did not think she was gonna have a hair net, but I think that's so cool and cute. Oh, I love her ponytail. Um, it is kind of Jojo Siwa. <laughs> not loving that. Um, totally need to fix that, which I'm gonna right now because I'm impatient and I don't like an off-center pony. That's just me. Okay, there we go. There she is. But here she is. I think mine's bangs are a little wonky. But I, again, I've heard some people say that you just need to fix them and they'll be fine. But here's my Mary Ellen. I think she's so cute. I love Mary Ellen. I've been wanting her for so long. So I'm so happy to have her. And the poodle outfit. So, in the box, you see the tissue paper. And there is her shirt. Her poodle skirt. And the handkerchief for her hair. She comes with socks. And then the little shoes. Um, I will 
this on for now to show you guys. Okay, so here's Mary Ellen. She's in her poodle outfit. Um, I'm debating to take the tag off of her scarf. It looks a little wonky, but also, I don't know about value. I don't know if this will go up in value or not. And I'll do that again. I'm a collector. Um, I do love dressing them up in their outfits, though, and I don't like when they look off. But, sucks. here she is. She has this pink shirt, poodle skirt with a poodle on it, her shoes with the socks. Um, in case anybody was wondering, because I know some people wonder, she has white underwear, because this is like after underwear is um, but then here's her high ponytail. I love her pony. Um, probably not gonna take her original one out, but it's just me. I love her. I'm so excited to finally have Mary Ellen in my collection. I'm probably gonna set my dolls up that I got um, around the house and annoy my roommates because I just love her so much. I'm so excited to have her in my collection. Hey guys, here's the last doll. I think I'm probably just gonna put this all into one video. I know you followed along, you know, like, I know, I know, I know this is me, because I've been watching. Yeah, I went to my parents the other day, and then got stuck there because I got really bad rain, and so I got up really, really early because I have work today. But my last doll and outfit are here, so let's get to opening it, because I need to get for work, but I also really, really want to see my doll. So, yeah. Okay, well, you, you do not want that. So first thing I got was Blair's swimsuit. Y'all, this is voiceover Henry. I truly don't know how tired I was, but clearly tired enough to say Blair and not Joss's swimsuit. So, yeah, sorry about that. So, I'm gonna move the camera up to tell you. So I wanted to get this at the store. Originally when I got Blair's, I don't know what it's called, her, her like blue summery outfit with that um, head gout. I'm so sorry that I keep saying Blair. I just, I, I can't keep continue watching this video with me saying it. Just know that I meant Joss when talking about this outfit. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was originally gonna get this, but it wasn't in store, and they told me that if I wanted to make an order online, or I could have them ship it out and then wait for it. Did not want to have to do that, so I was like, I'll just get it another time. Um, we're ending the year, and if they do decide to keep the girl of the years for the next three years, great, whatever. I don't really care for that. I think if anything, they should keep the girl of the year and the girl of the year previous. That's it. You shouldn't keep the girl of the year more than that because it kind of takes away the feeling of how limited they are. Um, but the collections do kind of like go away as the years go. I'm tired. Bear with me. Oh, girl, trust me. We all know you're tired. You do not need to make that clear, you know. But, so I wanted to get this before. It was too late because I thought this swimsuit was so cute. But here's this. So I love Blair. I think she is so cute. Um, her hairstyle is beautiful to me, and it will not be coming out. I know some people take hairs out, and I do too. Um, depends the character, like Joss, I definitely be taking her out. But like this style is just too cute. Let's open her and I'll show you what I mean. Because if you haven't seen Blair, which if you haven't, then you must be very new to American Girl. But so here's her book. So if you don't know, Blair is a cook and works on the farm and she loves to cook, but she's lactose intolerant. That's kind of her struggle in the story. Um, if I remember correctly, that's what it is. But I remember a girl I used to babysit for had Blair, and I loved her. She wasn't in a great condition, but I knew I loved her. So here she is. As you know, I am collecting the Girl of the Years um, because I would love to have every single Girl of the Year. And I'm trying to get any girl of the year that they have for right now so that I can have them new and not have to buy them used. If I can find them cheap and in good condition, I will, of course, but that is not the case for me right now. So, a 
I've got Blair. Okay, so here's Blair. Um, so she comes with this really, really cute dress. I love this dress. I think it is so adorable. It has some bees on it, and I love the, like, cinched waist look, but, like, not, you know, because she's nine, so she doesn't need a cinched waist. But she does have the cinch, like, look. I don't know what this design is called, but it's cute. I love her face. I love, I don't know, sometimes they do this, like, different painting and paleness and that to the dolls and Blair has a certain look to her and pale that I love. I love her like honestly her gray blue green eyes like it's like a mix to me like a very light like undertone of blue but mostly like gray and green so it's very cute. I love it so much, it's so pretty. Another reason I love Blair is because her curly hair. I just think it's so pretty and I love this red. Um, it's kind of like my sibling's red. My hair is more strawberry blonde, but I love this color. And then here's her style, like I was telling you. I just don't think I could recreate that. And I just think it's so cute. So I'm gonna keep her in this hairstyle. No probably, gonna. Unless I can practice it on another doll and get it down, like really like learn it, that maybe one day I'd consider taking it out. But I just love it too much. It's a cute little coat. I just love it so much. I think this is so cute for like swimsuit coat. I don't know what this is called. I just know it's for swimming. Um her swimsuit top. The swim bottoms, these still very cute. They're very cute, but yeah, that's her swim set. Yeah, which was really cute. But I just love this outfit so much. I actually probably want to take her hair out and put it in the style that she wears in this outfit, which is just a side pony side but yeah this is just an outfit thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed i am now going to trust for work and live my life um i'll see you guys in the next video bye